This is Barry Zelma speaking for Claim School Incorporated's blog, Zelma on Insurance. Today we're going to talk about why a $16 million verdict was reduced to $1. Because the plaintiff failed to provide the court a proper standard for damages, and the judgment was reduced to the lowest possible verdict of one dollar. And this was all because the insured, Malcolm Weiner, allowed sixteen million dollars in life insurance policies to be canceled because of non-payment of premium. And then when he tried to reinstate those policies, they were refused because his health condition had changed enormously. In Malcolm Weiner v. AXA Equitable Life Insurance Company, the United States District Court for the Western District of North Carolina on March 8, 2024, dealt with the $16 million jury award that the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals required the United States District Court to address AXA's argument for post-trial relief, challenging the amount of damages AXA argued that the jury rested its verdict on an improper standard that the award therefore lacked a basis in substantial evidence. In 1968 and 1987, Weiner purchased three life insurance policies from AXA with a total face value of $16 million. In December of 2013, each of the three policies lapsed for non-payment of premium. Weiner sought reimbursement, but AXA denied his application. The current case related only to AXA's negligence in coding Weiner's medical history. In January 2018, Weiner filed the present action, alleging, among other things, that AXA was negligent in failing to adequately read, understand, and verify and accurately report plaintiff's medical history conditions and events to third parties. According to evidence introduced at trial, Weiner sought new insurance coverage from at least eight carriers, but two denied him coverage altogether, and those that offered insurance made only preliminary revocable offers for $10 million policies that doubled the standard rate. Weiner's history of atrial fibrillation and monoclonal gammopathy was the basis for the refusals. The Fourth Circuit addressed the causation issue, holding that ample evidence supported the jury's verdict for Weiner, but because Axe's argument for post-trial relief challenging the amount of damages was neither raised nor briefed before the Fourth Circuit, the panel remanded the narrow issue back to the United States District Court. AXA contended that the jury based its award on an improper standard, the $16 million death benefit from its lapsed policies, and second, that even if the $16 million death benefit was an appropriate measure, Weiner failed to provide necessary evidence of future premiums to offset that $16 million award. Under North Carolina law, the party seeking damages must show that the amount of damages is based upon a standard that will allow the finder of fact to calculate the amount of damages with reasonable certainty. Here, the jury awarded Weiner actual damages of $16 million before deducting $8 million for his failure to mitigate. The jury's award, AXA argued, relied on a upon an improper standard because this action sought compensatory damages for AXA's negligence in coding Weiner's medical history, not reinstatement of Weiner's previous policies. 
The USDC found that Weiner's lapsed $16 million death benefit is an improper baseline for damages because Weiner offered no baseline to support the jury's $16 million award. The award lacks a sufficient evidentiary basis and could not be honored. Throughout the case, Weiner has offered no expert testimony or other evidence of the damage caused by his effective uninsurability. And the record made clear that even absent the erroneous MIB codes, Weiner was effectively uninsurable or uninsurable at a reasonable cost. The court found that no substantial evidence supported the jury's $16 million actual damages award. Even extending to Weiner the benefit of all reasonable inferences and resolving all disputed facts in his favor, the court found that no jury viewing the evidence in the light most favorable to the winning party could have properly reached the conclusion reached by this jury on compensatory damages. The court found that the damages award was against the clear weight of the evidence and conditionally granted a new trial in the event that the order is vacated or reversed. AXA Equitable Life Insurance Company's renewed motion for judgment as a matter of law was granted, the jury verdict was set aside, and plaintiff Malcolm Weiner was instead entitled to an award of nominal damages in the amount of one dollar. In my opinion, nothing is certain in the law, and the $16 million verdict was overturned because although the jury felt bad for Mr. Weiner, the reason for his insurance policies lapsing was that he did not pay the premium, and when he tried to reinstate them, his health conditions had changed, and by that time he was uninsurable. The jury awarded him with the cash value of the policies that would have been available if he had only paid the premium, which had no relationship to the actual alleged tortious conduct. The big verdict became nothing more than a piece of paper that counsel could frame and hang on a wall, but which will never result in cash to the plaintiff. This video was adapted from my blog, Zalma on Insurance, which is available free to anyone who clicks on the URL zalma.com slash blog. You can subscribe there to the blog and you will be advised of every blog posting, usually five or six a week, and you'll have access to the more than 4,750 blog postings. You can also subscribe to the videos on YouTube and on Rumble.com, all of which are free. And you can also watch them. And if you do, I'd appreciate it if you click on the like button on YouTube and the thumbs up button on Rumble.com. And please tell your friends and colleagues about this blog and the videos so that they too can subscribe. And if you're interested in further detail about insurance, insurance law, insurance fraud, and insurance claims, please consider for a very small fee subscribing to my Substack publications. Thank you for your attention.